Welcome to the Museum of Artifacts That Made America and the story of how medical kits evolved during the Civil War. When 70,000 Union and Confederate soldiers clashed at the first major land battle of the Civil War, U.S. Army surgeons and hospital orderlies rushed to provide care. Their hospital knapsacks, standard equipment since 1859, were made from wicker and cloth. Their drawer compartments contained a ready supply of anesthetics, stimulants, dressings, and more. But they were heavy and difficult to access, particularly when under fire. As the scale of the war grew, medical officers introduced new, innovative ways to provide care. Among them was the 1862 Regulation Knapsack. Smaller and better organized than its predecessor, this new kit was an improvement on the original. But it was made from wood and leather and proved too heavy to transport at speed. So, in 1863, U.S. Army Medical Inspector R.H. Coolidge developed his own. Based on a similar model used by the British, the Coolidge Field Case, or Surgeon's Field Companion, as it came to be known, could be carried around the waist rather than over the shoulder, making it easier for surgeons and orderlies to reach wounded soldiers and access their supplies. Alongside advancements in medical procedures like the introduction of triage, which established an ordered and methodical approach to prioritizing treatments, the surgeon's field companion helped medical staff provide care fast and, in the process, save countless lives. How can small innovations in products make a big impact on how we use them? 